Hello, my little woolly. In today's tutorial, I'm showing how to knit a super easy eyelet stitch pattern, perfect for beginners. This is the other side of the work, and I don't know, somehow it reminds me of a crochet fabric. So grab your needles, a little bit of yarn, and let's get started. Firstly, we need to cast on an even number of stitches. So, because it's a short repeat, I'm going to cast on 8 stitches. First row, right side of the work. We're going to net every stitch. When I get to the last one, I like to work it through the back loop. So I'm going to knit the last one only on this first row through the back loop. This way, I can avoid a huge loop there. Second row, as per row one, just knit every stitch. Row 3, as per rows 1 and 2, again, knit across. Row 4, we start with purl 1. And now comes the repeat. The repeat is what you will find between asterisks on the written instructions. Remember, you can find my patterns on my website, sowoolly.net. And there is a link for you below this video on the description box, just below the title of the video. So, the repeat is, pay attention here. Yarn over, purl two together. That's it. Let's do it again. Pay attention how to do a yarn over before a purl stitch. Yarn over, purl two together. Yarn over, purl two together. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is one stitch left, ending with purl one. Row 5, as per rows 1, 2, and 3, just knit every stitch, including the yarn over. The yarn over is what creates the eyelet. Row 6, again, knit across. And row seven, repeat, knit every stitch. Row eight, this is the last one. We start with purl one. And now comes the repeat. Purl two together. Yarn over. And repeat. Purl two together, yarn over. Again, purl two together, yarn over. Don't forget the last yarn over. So, if you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is one stitch left, ending with four one. So that's it. These eight rows create the pattern. Repeat them until the desired length is reached. When finished, bind off knitwise after row three. 
It means facing the wrong side of the work. So this is everything for today, my little Willy. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and happy knitting.